All right, Halos, how's everyone doing? We are back once again, uh, playing Minecraft Dungeons. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into the next mission, basically. Uh, last time, got a few things done. I think we completed, let's check, uh, I think we completed the Creepy Crypt. Um, the new rewards, actually, as well. The map legend says new rewards on these two as well. So if we go to them, then we can actually check out so, a couple different rewards that we have not unlocked as well. Um, you can replay all these maps as many times as you want, and that's how you find the other rewards as well as the gear drops that you might have missed. Um, and depending on your power level, you can get uh, higher level loot and stuff. So definitely uh, something we can look out for. But let's go ahead and do the next mission. Um, I think we just do view next. So yeah, uh, pumpkin pastures looks like the next thing that we need to do. Um, you can uh, check out, I think, Soggy Swamp as well, but let's do Pumpkin Pastures, pastures first, uh, and then we'll go into Cacti Canyon, Redstone Mines, and then we haven't unlocked these ones yet, but we will in the future. Um, there's also a daily trial that we'll try to get to if we can, but yeah. Uh, let's go straight into Pumpkin pasture, Pastures see what we got here um let's see should we do we could do a little bit of a harder one to try to get better um gear uh, and artifact power it goes up to 16 if we do that otherwise we're going looking for like uh any gear and artifacts we get will be level 6 to 13 um if we play through it like this and i think that's probably fine to be honest um you only get plus three at the end if you'd make it a little bit harder difficulty and the difficulty gets quite quite hard uh, enemies have a lot more health and stuff, so I think we'll go we'll go with this one for now. Default to difficulty. Traveling to pumpkin pastures. Looks like we got some pillagers out here. The illager raids have roasted this once lush land to ruin. Only one village remains unspoiled in this corner of the world. Make haste, hero. You must warn the villagers there of the battle to come. You are the only hope. Yes, we are. I was actually uh, thinking I might want to do some co-op with a specific person I'm thinking about um, of this game. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, otherwise, I probably just uh, probably just for, well, at least for this first playthrough, I want to just go through it by myself. But um, would definitely be it. Uh, thinking about that type of thing in the future, though. Oh, right. Oh, looks like they do actually attack you now. The enchanters, like, slap you a little bit. Alright, we got a guy over here. Yeah, that guy will spawn, uh, this guy right here will spawn... What is he called again? I forget. He will spawn little, like, explosions around you, basically, which are kind of annoying. And then, uh, since we have this soul thing, soul lantern that I haven't really shown you guys too much about, um, since we do have that, um, every time we kill an enemy, we get a soul. And then it requires souls to discharge, but it does a huge uh, damage around you, depending on how many souls you have. Um, and it says the total is about 26, maybe. Since it's a low-level one, it's not very much. But uh, you can see the souls right here at the bottom here. All right, anyways, let's continue on. Uh, I don't think we checked out this little area yet, so let's go ahead and do that. Just in case there's an enemy we can take out. Doesn't look like there was. That's fine. Sounds good to me. Let's continue on then. Looks like we got some phantoms or something above us almost. That's what it kind of looks like. <laughs> Make sure I get all the regular guys as well. Actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and change our little pal down here two um so we got a, we did unlock actually actually a few different one cute few different ones rather um level up flare oh interesting sure we can do that uh yeah let's do the brown tabby for now cute little guy all right take a little bit of damage here but that's fine got a switch of potion love to see that This seems like the bonus path. There we 
go. He tried a little mushroom thing timed out, but that's fine. Looks like we got something here, but we have not been able to activate it yet, so. Um, sometimes, also, there's little areas in the map that, uh, as you can see down here, it says there's a limited amount of uh, chests and secrets in the map. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky to, uh, like, depending on if you load in the map or not, um, the entire map, usually the layout doesn't change very much, but the spawns in it do, um, especially like chests and stuff. So sometimes you get a chest, sometimes you won't, and you just have to reload into the map if you uh, if you didn't get a chest and you wanted to. Um, that seems to be the way to go to the left there, so let's go ahead and go this bonus direction first. Kind of looks like the uh, the cow doesn't actually drop any souls. Something interesting. We got scale mail. Uh, let's check that out. Actually, I don't think we've we've gotten one of those yet, have we? No, we have not. All right, so scale mail. Um, this gives you uh, 21 health, 35% damage reduction, which is really nice, actually. And then plus 30% melee damage. That's actually really nice. I am going to actually switch, switch that out um, because Hunter's Armor is mostly for ranged damage, and I'm not using ranged quite as much. Uh, it does give you extra extra arrows and stuff as well, but I'm, I actually like the scale mill, even though it's a level too low. But as you can see, our power doesn't actually change right now because of the average doesn't isn't quite affected um, if we take that off. So... I'm just going to use the scale mail for now. Um, what's the enchantments? So we have the Tumblebee. That's a pretty nice one. It increases movement speed for one second after taking damage. That one actually is quite nice, to be honest. I've used it before um, when I used to play a while ago, several years ago. Um, it is quite nice, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I want to use it right now, though. Guarding Strike. Interesting. Okay. And then increase damage gets already wounded enemies. That's interesting as well. Uh, I think I'll keep what I got for now. What's Dynamo? Next attack after rolling. Gotcha, gotcha. Artifact charge. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think we'll just chill with what we have right now. But yeah, this will this will be nice because this is actually increasing our damage quite a bit. Because we get 30% 30, 30 more da melee damage and 35% damage reduction is actually pretty, pretty sick, actually. So let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, let's continue on, though. Hopefully the audio isn't uh, too loud in the game, like overbearing louder than I am or anything, but let me know if you guys uh, would be so kind. I believe there's actually a, a secret right over here, but I want to go ahead and get these guys real fast. Let's just finish them off there. I believe if you roll over here, it was actually a little bit of a secret. Ah, of course. Felt the map though. Oh wow, it took, took me way far back. I'm going to use the potion since uh, it'll just recharge. Looks like our total health is actually 120, well actually it might be 125, but right now our full health um, that we got from that potion rather is uh, 121. Let's aim this a little bit better. How about there? There we go, perfect. Now we got a longbow. Um, we could actually roll down here, I think. Yeah, we can. But it could be a bad idea, we'll see. I don't think we'd actually get that. Um, it'll be fine though. That's, we just kind of took a little bit of a shortcut, basically. There we go. Let's release this guy. Mystery Merchant is unlocked. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, and then is there anything else in here? I think that's it. Yeah, you can't really get through here. Oh! Found a new location, the Arch Haven. Nice. So now we can check that out once, uh, once we're in the map area the mission select, basically. Alright, yeah, it looks like 121 is our max health with the uh, with the armor that we have, basically. That's why it's a little bit of an uneven number. <laughs> Alright, let's come back around and let's make sure we didn't miss anything in the little area that we kind of skipped a bit. Right down here. Some, a few enemies and then that little bit of, um, what is it called? Uh, sorry, I'm completely blanking. <laughs> oh, the uh, the gems, yeah, the little urn that we popped. That's what I meant. I believe there is actually a chest over here, though I might be wrong. I forget actually. Let's check though. 
There is. All right, nice. So we got sickles. Let's check this out real fast. It's actually a new weapon that we have. I think we already have seen the longbow, but if we haven't, it has strong, strong range, charge attacks rather, and then you can also do um, this one actually has power on it, which is really good. This is also pretty nice as well sometimes. Um, but yeah, the power is actually super nice. Um, but it's the same level of my current bow, and I actually think actually you know what? Maybe it is better. Yeah, actually, I guess it is straight up better. Let's just use the longbow for now. <laughs> um, and then we have sickles, uh, 8 to 20 melee damage. The speed is a lot faster than what I'm using right now, but the power is a lot less. Obviously, it has a lot less damage. It's one level less than what, what we have right now. It looks like it doesn't really change our power, but well, let's uh, let's try it out real fast, and then we might switch back to the, um, the pickaxe. It's a dual-wield weapon. Area of effect isn't very high but it's about the exact same as the pickaxe pretty much um let's see if we can go back yeah we can head back right up here nice all right let's continue on and show you guys the sickles as well look at that waterfall down there though <laughs> all right it's pretty nice i do actually like uh fast attacking weapons in this game quite a bit look at that zombie chicken that's pretty cool actually let me um let me check real fast what, uh, when jams we got? Looting, okay. Drop consumables, eh, that's fine. I was gonna say, if we can get more emeralds, that would be nice, but, um, I'm not super worried about consumables, even though it is nice. <laughs> Accidentally activated my, uh, my firework arrow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that real fast. Hello, sir. What is this archer's armor? Oh, it's a unique armor. Okay. Let's check this out. Um, so sometimes there are unique armors of each type of armor. So I believe this is the unique armor for the hunter armor. Yeah, it is. Uh, it gives you plus 15% move speed aura. So you can actually just move quicker. Which is it. Um, it is a lot better than what I have right now. And it's going to up my power. So any power increase I can get is worth it to me. Um, even though it's going to... It's actually worse than what I have on right now <laughs> um, in terms of actual damage, but it'll be okay. Let's actually check out. So it's, yeah, I don't know, I guess. Let that take out the little guy there. Um, let's check this place, make sure I didn't miss anything real fast. Nah, we got everything. All right, let's check this little corner. There might be a chest here at the end, but oftentimes there are. We already found both secrets, it looks like. Uh, okay, there's a little dungeon, actually, though. That's cool. I was actually kind of hoping it was a dungeon. Alright, look up. looks like we have three different little areas here. Oh, I didn't quite kill him. There we go. Anything over this side? Doesn't look like it. Okay, and now we can actually use our, um, our soul thing. We have enough charge in it now. So let's go into an area. If there's a group of guys, we'll, we can take them out. I think relatively easy. Doesn't seem like there's anything over there. Okay, we do have a chest here. Nice. Looks like just emeralds though. So nothing super crazy, but it's something. I think I'll save my uh, my soul lantern for now. Until we find a group of enemies that it's worth using on. Uh, we don't have it fully charged, so it, I don't think it will deal quite as much damage. Um, and obviously it will, um, it'll also, I think, take the souls. I'm not sure if it takes them all, but it takes a portion of them for sure. Consumes them to, uh, to deal the damage. Alright, let's go ahead and do it here. Oh, wait, what the heck? Oh. Okay, never mind. I guess we have a spawn. Okay, I don't remember that to be honest, but respect. There's a ranged attack guy as well, okay. I thought it was a little explosion. That must be a different one I'm thinking of. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah, it definitely is a different one. Ooh, we got more sickles. Hold on, these are better level than mine, so let's go use those. 9 to 20 damage instead of 8 to 20, so yeah, a little bit better. Weakening, decrease the attack damage from all nearby enemies for 5 seconds. That is actually pretty nice. 
Um, leeching, defeating a mob, heals you a small portion of the mob's max health. That is also very nice. Both of those are good. Right. And it looks like our summon is for a, r a short amount of time. So, um, in terms of artifacts, uh, it is better level, so I will keep it on me, but I, I actually would prefer using the fishing rod. It's actually better immediate damage for me. Let's check over here real fast. Okay, yeah, there is a little bit of a little emeralds there. Um, let's check over here. See, there's, make sure there's nothing we missed for sure. Go ahead and eat that for fun. Doesn't look like there's anything I missed over there, but let me check over here real fast first. Wonder what that, uh, that gas sound is though. Gas. Got some more enemies over here. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything over in this direction though. First off. Alright, yeah, we did miss uh, a little emerald pot there. Okay, cool. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got an enemy here. I think he's the... he's not the evoker, is he? Not sure where he is exactly. Yeah, he'll like trap you in and then explode you. It's kind of... there he is. I forget what they're called. Well, we do have the extra damage since we are using the uh, the archer armor. It's extra, extra range damage as well, so that's nice at least. All right. Not sure where those emeralds went. Hopefully, in my inventory. Some bread. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything in this little corner. Doesn't look like it. Okay, cool. Let's head over towards the way out. Yeah, I don't know if uh, filling the souls more for this summon makes him do more damage or if he stays for longer. Alright, looks like we're gonna fight some, uh, some enemies here. New event, arena battle. there for sure but I think we'll be okay oh we got a lot of enemies here there we go let's get this other one down and then with that bread, we're actually healing quite a bit, so we don't even, even need to waste our potion right now. And we do have some more supplies as well, so that'll give us another bread, actually. Whoops, I didn't mean to throw that. <laughs> Let's not kill ourselves with that, accidentally. Let's not. Alright. Oh, we got another bread already, sweet. Appreciate that. Regeneration, so I'm not even worried about taking any damage right now, honestly. Oh, looks like we're going maybe in. Okay, actually, that's, that's like a bonus area. Okay, there's the evoker. Try to get out of this if we can. There we go, we got him. Sometimes there will be those mid mid bosses there, pretty much. But uh, we are able to get him. Got a sword though, level 13 did that say? That's a lot better than what I have right now, nice. 20 to 31 melee damage. I will actually use that, it's, it's, I do prefer the faster attacking weapons, but that's gonna increase our power by a whopping one, so that's pretty nice. <laughs> Freezing is actually pretty nice, slows mobs hit. And the attacks decrease the attack damage, weakening, yep, yep. Let's first check this little mini dungeon here real fast, and then we can continue on. Oh, yeah. I 
think this has a little bit more area of effect damage as well, right? Yeah, a little bit more. Not a whole lot, but definitely some. And it also has, a, I think, a sweeping attack on the third hit. All right, let's check out this downward section first. Nothing much there. Yeah, definitely slower attacks, but it's obviously more damage as well, so it's nice. Doesn't look like anything else is there, maybe. Got a little icon way down there, though. It's kind of strange. Oh, it's probably from earlier in the in the level when we found that merchant. There we go. Longbow and a level up. Uh oh, this is gonna hurt. Got spider trapped right as he spawned a explosion uh, pillar on top of me. Did I miss anything over here? Looks like there's a little area up here. Ooh, what's this? How do we get through here? Can we get through there? It looks like we can, but I don't know how. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just a fake thing. Kind of looks like I can go through there, though. I don't know what you guys think. Got like some little somethings on the ground there. Hitting the um, uh, creepers with our swords, that's really good. Don't give them any chance to explode. Got some sunflowers here, very nice. <laughs> and then I think the arrows may have disappeared into nothingness there, but it's okay. Got some regeneration at least, so that's good. Let's continue all along our way. Let's click a little bonus dungeon here. Let's check this out real fast. for this place. Oh, one more guy. There we go. Didn't even see him. Alright, let's head back out. Looks like they did expand these uh, these base maps just a little bit, though, with extra dungeons. I don't remember. I could be wrong, but I, that's what it seems like. I'm gonna swap this with this once it lets me, once it's finished cooling down. Sometimes they run away real quick, so <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got everything. Uh, I think we did, though, so that's good. I don't think I missed anything there. Oh, ring the warning bell, the last hearth. Alright, so this should be the last little area here. Should be the final boss battle, if I'm not mistaken. That should be the way out, but it's not letting us do it yet, so let's ring the bell and fight them all. Oh, first. <laughs> Let's swap those real fast. Oh, what the heck? We got Hawk Brand. Okay. Uh, that will increase our damage, actually. I mean, our total power. Because critical hit chance. 
area of effect is looks like about about the same actually, but um, it does more damage. 21 to 34, and then it has some other uh, things as well. Chance to temporarily stun enemies. That's nice. I think I'll just wait on it for now though. But yeah, let's try this out. That's a pretty fast attacking weapon actually. I thought it'd be a little bit slower to be honest. Alright, second wave. Alright. Go ahead and pop my mushroom. We got him. Let's just let that finish him off. Never mind, he walked out of it. Alright. That's another strength potion. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Good stuff. That was the final boss. And we're done with this level. Let's get out. You did it. And I the did it. Of the pumpkin pastures go on to fight another day. Yay! That was a pretty cool sword, actually. Nice. Pretty decent loot there, and then we'll, of course we'll get our artifact loot here as well. There's a little quick summary of stuff. Looks like we may have missed one mob there, somewhere in the level. All right, light feather. No one knows what mysterious creature this feather came from, but it is as beautiful and powerful. It is as beautiful and powerful. Interesting. Okay, uh, level 13 and it's common, so that will actually increase our uh, power level, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and equip it uh, over this, probably. Right? Or would that be better? Yeah, no. I do like the fire arrow a lot more um, than this, but this is increases my power level most, so that's gonna be most important to me. Uh, we can definitely get rid of some of this stuff, though. Usually you only uh, like save this stuff if it has good enchantments, but right now I don't think these are that that great. Um, Echo can be nice, but I'm not super worried about it honestly on that one. Uh, Hunter armor, explorer. I'm not worried about those two. Switch footed and speed synergy. Nah, we're good. We're good. This rampaging fire aspect, I'm not worried about those. Burst bowstring. That's kind of interesting, but no, I don't need that. Uh, I do want to get rid of these so I can get my enchantment levels back, though. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, looting and ambush. Nah. How about this? Chains is actually pretty nice sometimes. But I'm not worried about it. We can we can figure out something else. Um, stunning and un un unchanting. Those are actually not too bad. Uh, I think I have a better one up here though, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't remember if there's a way to like sort this easily. I don't think so. Let's go by like armor real fast though. Um, this one's a little bit, it's a rare item, so it's a little bit better actually than the common. Uh, acrobats, which is the cool time, cooldown between your, your uh, rolls. Um, this is electrified, that's pretty nice. Yeah, this one has better enchantments actually, so I'm gonna keep it for now. Um, not super worried about it though. These are all, that's also pretty nice armor, but I might just keep what I have right now, because I don't really want to upgrade those. Uh, I do want to upgrade this fireworks arrow though, if it'll let me. Although we, we will probably find a new one as well, so it's not too big of a deal or anything. Um, let's check our range stuff. So we've got all these regular bows multi shots that's pretty cool fire five arrows at once artifact charge I'm not super worried about that um, these are the same bow but one's a little higher it's a unique item as well dipping poison and accelerate accelerate could be nice 
I think Ricochet is better though. I think I'll keep them both for now, but I'm probably gonna get rid of this one to be honest. Uh, and then we've got the Longbow, Punch, which is basically Knockback, Dynamo, and Artifact Charge, Prospector. This is nice enchantments, Bonus Shot and Rapid Fire are both pretty good. Yeah, it does reduce damage, but you know. Uh, let's get some, rid of some of these weaker ones, like this one. I really don't like the enchantments on, even though it's pretty good. Uh, this looks pretty good enchantments, honestly. Um, this one I'm not worried about. This one... Um, they're not that good, but I'll keep it for now, I guess. You do have, I believe, unlimited uh, inventory space, if I'm not mistaken. So you can keep as many stuff as you want, but... Um, you know, you might not always want to. That has stunning. I think one of these other ones have stunning though. Yeah, this has stunning actually. I don't know if this is just like a, a better sword. I think it is. Love and ten. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it's just a better sword. Like it's a unique sword basically. But uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, this is a rare pickaxe actually. That's pretty good damage. Um, Artifacts, Energy, and Busy B. But those aren't the best enchantments, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Uh, Guarding Strike and Committed, I'm not worried about. I will keep it, though, since it's the highest level one I have. Stunning's nice, and Enchanting's nice. This I'm not worried about. Um, I mean, Prospector's relatively nice, but I'm not, not super worried about that. Sword has good enchants. This actually has double smiting. <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. It's a pretty good sword, too. Um, artifacts, Legendary Freezing, not, not bad. This one has Freezing, too, though. This one has Chains, but I think I'll just get rid of that one. And then this one I'm not worried about. Other than that, I think we can keep the rest of these for now. Uh, we might get rid of them later, though. But yeah, I think, I think that's about it. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade our uh, enchanting thing. Or, um, what's it called? Village Merchants. Nah, I don't need any of that stuff right now. How's the Adventurer Heb looking? If we have leveled up anymore? Not yet. Okay. Um, let's check out the Mystery Merchants. So you can do a Mystery Crate. Uh, this is a random item. Could be anywhere from 8 to 14 for a certain amount of gems. Uh, or emeralds, rather. And then you could restock him to, like, switch out his stuff. You can also reserve them to hold that if you wanted. Um, I'm not worried about either, any of that stuff. I think there's a different guy that we have not unlocked yet. Yeah, see if this is the same attack speed. Boom, 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 boom. boom. Yeah, I believe it actually is the same. Alright. Our power level is 11 now. <clears throat> but yeah, I think one of these guys actually upgrades your, wep your weapon level. Oh, we got a chest over here though. Let's get that real quick. Found a chest with 50 emeralds. Yeah, so those will sometimes spawn around your area. But uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. This will be the, the first uh, episode done, or this uh, this mission that we just completed, I believe, was Pumpkin Pastures. Yep. So next up, we'll do Cacti Canyon, probably. Um, we might try Soggy Swamp in, in between, but... Uh, actually, yeah, I think I will do Soggy Swamp in between. All right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.